Welcome back to Rocket Edition. The last episode, I would say it was quite rough, but we actually had the same amount of deaths as the first stream, six so far for each. Let's see if today we can keep these guys alive as we've got no nickname on Zubat, but Laffy Taffy just joined the team, stolen from Mr. Fuji himself. We got Deddy, the dead Marowak, uh, should definitely be a ghost type, but it's not. Clifford, the Growlithe, and of course, Lil Crit, our new MVP, the Scyther here. And I've actually got a prediction going on which Pokemon will die first today, either Clifford or Lil Crit. Because I just feel like if anybody's going to die, it's going to be between these two. I mean, I don't want anybody to die, obviously, but I feel like it'll be between them for who dies first. But also, what? Zubat can't fly! Who the frick told me Zubat can fly last time? I freaking knew it couldn't, dude. I literally said it. Like, there's no way a little tiny bat can carry you like that. I mean, Pidgey can, but Zubat can't. So we'll just uh, deposit him back in there and actually not take any new Pokemon with us because we could definitely steal something better. So what are we doing today, actually? I uh, kind of forgot. <laughs> Maybe I got to go check out the last episode real quick. Six and a half hours later. Friday the 13th and we're in Lavender Town. That's right. So last time we took on Pokemon Tower, we learned Mr. Fuji was a traitor and Professor Oak was apparently the ex-champion of Kanto. We also fought all these guys and right now I think we've got to head back to the boss who is in the game corner, right? I was about to go to Sylph Co. I don't know why I keep thinking. Oh yeah, this happened too. This was freaking funny, dude. <laughs> You're cool, Rocket. If you ever need anything, I could use a little favor from Mount Hoenn. What, what was her name? Lady Hoenn? Something like that. Because she be Hoenn. Oh my god, is that why they call her that? Did I just like connect the dots? They call her Lady Hoenn. Because she be Hoenn. <laughs> anyway. Let's go, uh, actually, what? We got a cutscene. No. Not red, dude. Okay, thank goodness. I thought my whole team was dead. I don't want no one else to die anymore. <laughs> but I was just thinking, don't they sell Firestones in here? Coin case required. Dang it. Come on. Oh, wait. It's not even here. It's in the, um department store because right now we've got a Growlithe on the team as you guys saw and I'm pretty sure it would be best to evolve it I mean then it probably wouldn't die first and the prediction would be rendered useless but what imagine what they would say if we let you shop here freely no survey be gone criminal are you freaking kidding me can we really not oh I mean this guy Wants to teach us counter. I don't think anybody can even learn it. Oh, wait. Nice. Laffy Taffy, Lil Crit, and Deddy can all learn it. I guess I'll give it to Laffy Taffy. Since uh, it's probably the most tanky. Unless it gets hit by a fighting move, of course. In which case, I will cry. But what's up, Dracanose? Welcome back, dude. Yay for Seg. Uh, yeah, dude. Discriminating against the rocket grunts. This is unfair. They only serve the 1% here. It's not it's not cool, dude. I mean, not even the 1%. Basically, they're this is not nice, dude. Just because I'm in the mafia, like I can't go to the grocery store anymore. What is this, dude? Well, 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 if it ain't one of you rockets I've heard so much about. We're really just talking to a cop? What? No, I won't be arresting you. These aren't my orders. I'm here to facilitate your rehabilitation. I have a shiny new Giga Drain TM. What? Okay. Well, let me check your registry here. Oh, my, you're quite the villain. <laughs> the bounty on your head stands at 48,000. That's nothing to joke about, son. Unless you plan to spend the rest of your days in jail, I suggest you change your way soon. Oh, what? Hand in Pokemon? Bribe the officer? What's that? My God! I am unwavering in my adherence to my moral principles, I assure you. Shh, not so loud now. How much we talking? The bounty's 48. So we gotta knock our bounty down to zero? Or do good deeds by turning in Pokemon? F 
that, dude. Giga Drain is not worth it. Bribing the cop or giving in our Pokemon. Like, for a Giga Drain TM, come on. That is hilarious that you can do that, though. But now we're going to the hideout. Yeah, I don't know why it was playing the hideout music in the uh, department store. You're going to see the boss. Be warned, he's in a bit of a frenzy right now. Oh, gosh. I wonder if it's a red-induced frenzy. I can only imagine. Well, down to the basement we go to get our next mission. Oh, he's pissed, dude. You can tell just how he's walking. Ariana, it's positively the worst humiliation we've ever been through. If Lance and the Elite Four stormed in here and busted us, I would have been furious. It's some petty small time gang decided to marshal all its resources for a successful strike against us. I would have taken it as a slight upon my honor. But this, Ariana, what the devil could have prepared me for this? A child! I mean, what an Arceus's name am I to make of this? I knew it, dude. The most prestigious, notorious organization in all of Kanto. Brought to its knees at the hands of some pre-adolescent twerp. Oh, this is right after he loses to Red. Wow. Disgusted, revulsed, ashamed at our incompetence. I've been naive, underestimated the kid. And now look at him. Four badges and fully evolved Pokemon. Who knows, before we know if he'll have earned the right to challenge Viridian Jim, and will demand that its leader show up and accept this challenge. And what are you gonna do then? But if that happens, we'll have to be ready. You too? You know, I'm always prepared for every eventuality, Giovanni. There are those of us you can count on to stand by your side until the end and beyond, if need be. Which, I propose, it would seem as if your favorite little grunt has graced us with his presence. It's me, Lemon! So you've returned! I'll be frank and tell you that Fuji's antics are the least of my concerns at the moment, but let's hear whatever you have to report anyway. Quickly, you hear? What's that? There's more! Oh! Oh! Could it be? Well, fine, you've piqued my interest. Take it from the start, if you would. Am I really gonna tell him the whole Mount Fuji thing? Pallet Town native, then. And license for Pokemon trading by the chief trader himself. Well, that explains how the kid got a hold of that freak of a Charizard, at least. So, Oak is looking for Fuji, is he? God, what is he planning? Does he know about us? This could be bad. Very bad. Come on, dude. We know you've got the armored Mewtwo. Just whip it out. I think it's about time you learn the truth. Flashback? The things that happened in secret in that final year of the war. I never thought to tell it all to a mere grunt, but I believe you've proven yourself worthy of hearing it. And if you're going to work with me to set things straight, it's best you heard it clean from me. It's obviously going to be biased coming from Giovanni. But sure, it's flashback time, 11 years ago. Oh, we got the black and white? Kanto's war effort was going badly. It was clear we could not win by force alone. But we had something that Lance and his boys did not. Something we knew was the key to victory. Oh, the minds of the brightest scientists in the nation. Oak was working for... Perf uh, Team Rocket? Ever since the start of the war, Oak had been leading a number of secret initiatives to capture and harness the power of one Pokemon. Wait, is that Giovanni right there in the corner? One so rare, most laymen thought it just a legend. Oh, we know it's Mewtwo coming, bro. Like, come on. Just get to it. Is that Blaine, by the way? Or wait, no, that's Mr. Fuji. Legends don't win wars, though. Oak knew better. Oh, sh oh, it's Mew, actually. Of course, they need Mew to make Mew too. so... One word got back that Fuji had 
caught the Mew. We knew there was no chance the public could know. It was to be the region's best kept secret and our only chance of winning. But Mew could not be brandished like artillery on the battlefield the way Lance did his Johto dogs and nor did Oak expect it could. By far the strongest Pokemon in existence trapped in a playpen. <laughs> I somehow feel like Mew would not stand for this. We couldn't make the thing knock out a magic card for sport, let alone ravage a crowd of enemy monsters in the field. Ah, so that's why they decided to clone it. Yep, harness Muse powers they would create from it. A genetic clone conditioned from birth to be devoid of empathy and possess an innate urge for battle. Somehow I just do not believe that Professor Oak was the one behind the Mewtwo project. Like, Giovanni's definitely capping. At the time, I was the richest man in Kanto and a devout member of the Mormon Church. Well, that's a plot twist. I wanted to do everything I could for Kanto, so I funded the project. An impressive team was assembled. Blaine, Fuji, Bill? How old is Bill? This dude looks like... At most 20, which means that 11 years ago, he would have been 9, dude. And Professor Shigeki, Kanto's authority on generic engine. Okay. So Bill's a vampire or what? Each member was a genius in his own right and wasn't afraid to work day and night for months for a chance to save Kanto. But... The project proved much more difficult than expected, and that's how Ditto was born. That's amazing, dude. Most tests came out as formless half-dead pieces of flesh that did not resemble Mew in any way. I mean, you could say they're more powerful than Mew, though. Though equally as erratic and distinguishedly shapeless as the others, this newborn monster had inherited Mew's strength. Ooh. Mewtwo came from a ditto? No way, what? It broke free from its test tube and escaped the lab, killing several of the earlier specimen in its- What the frick? Just decided to slaughter the dittos for no reason? This little incident became known as the catastrophe, and it scarred the scientist as well as it did me. I began to lose faith in my investment, and I think Oak was starting to feel the same way. Luckily, Dr. Fuji soon gave new hope to the project. Oh, Dr. Fuji. With his unethical ways, what is he going to do? He suggested a way to contain Mew's power within a solid sentient body. By creating a clone that would combine Mew's DNA with that of a hu- Really? Is that actually Mew's- or Mewtwo's canon story? Initial tests proved promising, and the scientists agreed to each contribute a sample of their own DNA. Ew. It's kind of gross, dude. Mew is made from a bunch of baldies. No wonder. It's bald itself. Oak was the only one who refused. Oh, yeah, because he's got hair, duh. His skepticism for the project had by now risen to a peak. Ironically, however, Fuji's theory proved correct. Sooner than anyone could anticipate, the team had produced their definite Mewtwo. A human-like, immensely powerful psychic Pokemon, possessing the requisite cold, bloodthirsty mind, a sapient intelligence. That actually makes a lot of sense. Both why Mewtwo can talk and why it's so aggressive, because, you know, it has human DNA in it, and humans are quite savage. Before anyone could prepare it for the field, however, the Mewtwo project reached its natural conclusion. The armor! Devoid of empathy but disturbingly intelligent, the newborn clone could find no reason to fight for Kanto's cause. No! No, Dragonite! Why the war did not appeal to Mewtwo, we couldn't quite say, but it refused to be used as a military weapon. That's funny how they're testing it against Dragonite. 
Because, like, that's Lance's Pokemon. Oh, what the frick? He said, nah. I want to be naked. I want to be free. And I'm out of here, baby. With psychic powers we had no means to control, Mewtwo ruined the lab and escaped the scientist who'd given it life. I just can't help but think that those little fences are like a little baby playpen. Driven, we believe, by a desire to find a worthy Pokemon opponents, it sought refuge in the depths of a notoriously dangerous cave outside Cerulean. And there it lies until this very day. Wait, do we have to go hunt down Mewtwo? As far as I know, that's where it still hides to this day. No capture expedition since, not by the government, by us, or any other party, has been successful. Soon after Mewtwo's escape, it was all ogre. Lance and the police? No! Oak announced Kanto's surrender to Lance and Johto, ending the war. Huh. We'd done our best to destroy all evidence of the project, but there was no hiding the team's involvement in some kind of military research. Fuji was the first to throw in the towel. That little traitor. The old coward openly pledged his allegiance to Lance, accepting any terms they gave him. I'm still confused how the Kanto Johto War started. Like, what were they fighting over? Just control of the Pokemon League? It seems to be what it ended with, so... I don't know, it's kind of petty to me. Now, as to this Shigeki... Ah, that's who we gotta go find, huh? Nobody knows! The old guy has been missing ever since the end of the war. And me? Well, Lance stripped me of my Elite Four position right quick. And Oak, the bastard traitor, left me to fend off for myself. As if I hadn't invested my heart and soul, let alone my personal fortune, to defend a home now taken over by foreign aggressors. Damn. They just got colonized straight up by the Johtoans. That's kind of crazy. I knew it wasn't right. I knew that I, that Kanto at large, had been cheated of a battle we could have won. And I vowed then that if Lance could not be taken down through legitimate means, then I'll do it by force? No. I would cripple him from inside. I never looked back. I mean, force was the war. He had to do it through the Team Rocket means, is what he's trying to say. What's up, Aubryib? So now you see, Lemon, why recent developments have me very concerned indeed. Ariana, darling, I need you to leave for Viridian. We've got no time to waste. With this red twerp running around, we can't leave the gym unmanned. You'll guard it in my absence. If that's what you want, but he won't like it. Our, our boy. Silver's alive at this point? Nonsense! My son will come with you to Viridian if need be. It will do him good. I guess it makes sense. Heart Gold and Soul Silver only take place like, what, two years after the events of Kanto? So yeah, Silver and uh, Ethan or Gold would definitely be alive. Just maybe like a little younger, like eight or something. Listen, Lemon. Oak must despise everyone who roped uh, the Mewtwo project. If all of a sudden he has business with Fuji, it can't be good news! I can't imagine he still believes he can find some way to get at Mewtwo after all these years. But supposing he did, we have to know. We have to go back to Pallet Town, confront Oak in his lab, and get to the bottom of what he's up to. If that means resorting to force, then so be it! The old guy's banned from Pokemon battles, so he's not likely to put up much of a fight anyway. And while you're there, do see if you can gather any more information about this Red or his family from the locals. Any key information, any weakness of his that we can exploit would be great help. All clear? Just one more thing. Aya! <gasps> We're an admin? 
Yo, the upgrade! Hell yeah! Rocket Admin! I'll say it was about time. You've heard my trust, Lemon. What a name, dude. Admin Lemon. <laughs> With this rise in rank, I think you'll have no trouble stealing Pokemon from teenagers or women trainers. What? Just women? Come on. You'll also be obliged to carry one of these. I get why, but still, like... Couldn't have made it, like, weak men, too? This device will beep whenever I want one or all of my admins to report back to HQ. Whatever it goes off, I expect you to be making your way here as soon as possible. And that is all. All right. It's time. Off with you. No time to waste. This is so sick, dude. I didn't realize that our sprite was going to change. Do the rocket grunts respect us now? We failed, boss. Oh, no. <laughs> this is so dope, man. Now we can steal from teenagers, because that definitely makes me feel better. Hey, what's bonkin', Irvis? How you doing, dude? I wonder if now that we're in admin, though, we can, like, maybe get these other items we haven't picked up from the base. I mean, we probably could have gotten them if we actually took some time to explore, but I don't feel like it, man. Let's go straight off to not pallet down. Yo, Ronnie boy, what's with the new getup? Say what? They made Little Lemon an admin now, did they? Well, no jokes. So now you can rob women and teens, ain't it? Congrats, bud. You know, given all my inborn gangster skills, it speaks to my modesty that they didn't promote me too yet, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. Now, now, any more juicy news? Oh, you're going to Pound Town, huh? No way, dude. You know, they didn't give me a new mission yet. Oh, no, poor Roddy. Is he going to be the true final boss? Like he's going to leave Team Rocket and turn on us or something? Oh man, fate is too kind sometimes, ain't she? What? We're going to Pallet Town together? So either we go south from Mount Moon through that pesky Diglett cave or... What? That's it? Okay. Let's do it. Diglett cave isn't really that bad, is it? Especially if we buy some repels. But first, we got Bill. It's been a while. Fill me in on the latest, if you would. Oh, come on, dude. Why again with the autistic insults, man? It's not nice. <laughs> Sorry, but I find that rather hum- Bill? He's kind of an asshole in this game, ain't he? Oh, what? Giovanni finally revealed his wartime secrets? Good. Then we're fully on the same page now, aren't we? I suppose he told you about the catastrophe. Yes, yes, that Mewtwo is well shut off in Cerulean Cave. But I'm curious, did he happen to know what became of Mew after the project was shut down? No, very well. Keep up the good work, Lemon. You've been a good friend. I'll talk to you later. Wait, he did tell us where Mewtwo is, though. Or wait, did Bill say Mew? I don't know, but we know Mewtwo's in Cerulean. I don't think we can get there yet, but yeah, he is referring to Red. Earlier on, he said he thinks Red is autistic because he doesn't speak a lot, which is just like totally, uh, I, I don't know what other word to say other than very rude of him. Red's just a quiet guy, you know, he talks if he needs to, but he doesn't really need to. He just kicks ass. Anyway, before we head on to Diglett Cave, I saw that there was an item over here. And we can also steal Pokemon from teenagers now, so maybe we go do that. I mean, these are like youngsters, right? So I'm sure that we can steal from them. We probably could have stolen from them even earlier. This thing is level 14, dude. You know what? We need the training for Clifford, actually. Clifford's only at level 20 right now, so... No. I don't need your weak-ass pokies. Actually, can we steal from the electrician? He said we can steal from teenagers and women now. But, like, I feel we should be able to steal from, like, the weaker men, too, right? Because all men are weak in the presence of Lemon. <laughs> nope, we can't steal from him. What the heck? That's so dumb, dude. Like, I would understand if we can't steal from, you know, like, gym leaders or 
hikers or karate choppers because they're actually buff so they could beat us up but like what is that electrician gonna do whack us in the head with his toolbox i got a little crit to block for me i got licky tongue to just eat it up are there really no wild diglet in here oh i was about to say man there it is finally i mean i could actually catch one but it's level 12 so nah but yeah we really need some stronger pokemon to steal most likely they're gonna be from main characters like mr fuji earlier i don't know who we're gonna be fighting in this pallet town chapter like i would have to guess professor oak himself but the boss said he don't fight no more hey no what i don't want flash i need cut dude are you kidding me these guys trying to sell us flash i don't need that a flashlight what for a mere 1000 okay i mean why not, right? Explore those caves, my friend! With the power of electricity at your fingertips! So what, I'm like Zeus now? Isn't Cut in here, though? God, why are you barging into my house? I won't have it! Oh, come on. What? This guy wants to trade Abra for Mr. Mime? Is that normally what you get in here, too? I don't know. I think you actually get Flash in this house. Not cut. Where do you get cut normally? Because I, I can't get out of here. Or at least I don't think I have cut. Maybe we do somehow, but um, yeah, no, we definitely don't. So we got to walk the long way around. That's annoying. So I'm actually a genius psychic. And I figured out we have to go to the safari zone for some reason. A.K.A. Jim Baloney just told me in chat, thanks to Google. So we were actually on the right track going over to Route 11 here. We just got to keep... Oh, hey, we haven't fought this guy? What the frick? They're so weak, though, that it's just not worth it. Or even stealing their Pokemon. So we're just going to keep trucking along. And over to... Wait, actually, isn't there a hidden item on this rock? An escape rope! Probably not going to use that, but there's also another item here. We big brain right now. Dude, why is Cut in the Safari Zone? Like, normally you get it on the SSN, right? Which we've already been on. And then, I don't know. I thought maybe it would be by the Diglett's Cave? Oh, hey. Professor Zaid. I don't know what's funny about that either. On to... Th what? No, come on. There's going to be a Snorlax blocking the way up. <sighs> So we can't go the long way down Lavender. We can't go probably this way either because there's another Snorlax blocking the way, right? So what the frick do we do? There's a cut tree here too. Oh, come on, dude. What? Where do I go? 2,000 years later. So I just looked up a video series. There's a Pidgeotto to steal somewhere. And you can... and. And that can fly you to the center on Route 4? Oh! You know what? We have been to Mount Moon before, so... If we did use Fly with a Pokemon, we're gonna have to bring back a dead Pokemon, because we literally have nothing else that can fly, so... I'm sorry, Doduo. I know you're dead, bro, but I kinda need you to... Just flap those wings somehow. I'll flap them for you. How about that? This makes no sense, by the way, but... Yeah, so we have been to Mount Moon before, which means... We can fly to the Pokemon Center over here. And then go all the way around through Pewter City and Viridian Forest to Pallet Town. This is so dumb, actually. Like, I don't know. It makes sense. But, like, I feel most people wouldn't think of that. I mean, clearly, no one in chat thought of it until we looked up a video, so that's kind of dumb. Oh, no, not the toxic spikes, man. Come on. Oh, now two of our Pokemon are poisoned. This is just amazing. Should we take the tentacle just in case? Why not? I think we might have to head back to the Pokemon Center right now because we're poison and I don't want to deal with that. Uh, but first, let's fight this kid. 
Dude, why am I actually scared of this Beedrill right now? Oh, it's going for the Rage! I think we have at least one berry that can heal poison, so we're okay for now. But yeah, I... I don't want to risk anything, so let's just bring Lil Crit back in. And deal with all of these... Little bees. Take the bee drill. Bee jobs! The best bee drill there ever lived. They all have the same Pokemon, so it's not even worth stealing them. Oh, never mind. There's Eradicate. That's something new. That I guess we can try out our counter on. Scary face. That means it's not even going to work, right? Ah, well. We'll keep going stomp then. Bro, that Hyper Fang hurt. <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. I need to watch out, dude. I'm speeding up a little too much because I'm getting impatient. Because it took us so long to get to Pallet Town in the first place. But... Yeah, we just gotta chill. And maybe... Mm, should we take the Arbok, actually? I'll go for it, since we're Team Rocket. Very fitting Rocket Pokemon there. And... I'm pretty sure we also have an Arbok named Jesse in the PC already. Or sorry, we had an Ekans. Now we'll have an Arbok. We're just upgrading our Pokemon right now without even having to train. Later that same evening. But we're in Pewter City. <laughs> and we picked two Pokemon that can't fly us. So we might still have to use that corpse to get us around places. It is a bill, the beak of a water-based bird. Ah. Wait, what? I can't stand it anymore. I need some thug like you to help. I want you to go teach somebody a lesson. What? Nurse Joy said enough is enough. All right, listen. So I'm dating this cop who's stationed in Viridian. I mean, I'm a sucker for guys in uniforms. What can I say? Oh, then I guess you and me might get along then, huh? I mean, he's a real stud. Fights crime real good and all. No offense, but you know, with that great big forest separating us and all, we don't get time to see each other that often and, uh... Oh, you can't use Skype? What? Ah, God damn it. That son of a Gramble is cheating on me, I know it! Oh, no. I didn't want to believe it either, but it's clear as day. First he comes late for our date, then he starts forgetting to call me goodnight. The signs are so obvious. But then, last week, I decided to come to Viridian for a surprise date, see? I went up to his place and guess what I saw? He was hanging out alone with some other girl. The most disgusting fake little bimbo I ever saw. Laughing and smiling together. Grr, it makes me livid. That lying, cheating bastard. Oh my. You go on down to Viridian and give him a nice old beating. Team Rocket aren't hitmen. You realize this, right? Like, I, I could steal his Pokemon, maybe. The more he cries, the more I'll pay you. And as you walk away, you make sure to let him know who it came from. Nurse Joy? Would he even know which Nurse Joy? Yo, actually, that'd be hilarious if we get there. And it's like another Nurse Joy that he's cheating with. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be, actually. Uh, I guess we'll find out. But first... Do we even bother exploring Viridian? Oh, what the heck? This guy wants me to bribe him too? Nah, dude, we're not doing this. We already learned earlier we can bribe the officers to get items, but it's not really worth it. Why is there swearing and bad language in this? Because we're Team Rocket, duh. You think Team Rocket ain't cussing up a storm? You going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Nope, we just got out. You would have seen that if you, like, I, I literally just came through the door. But yeah, I guess we didn't need cut after all. I'm guessing we're not even going to get cut. So all of these items we keep passing by. Hey, it's silver. What the heck? Great. More of dad's goodies coming now. Tell me, why does he do it? Order you all to do his dirty work. Why? Is he too much of a coward to do things himself? Why couldn't he just come along? <laughs> Poor kid, dude. He's got daddy issues. Oh, and mommy issues, too. It was never any use, was it? Welcome to Viridian. What? Can't keep her kid under control. Jeez, do they really live in the gym? 
I mean, I guess, why wouldn't they, right? <laughs> Indeed, no new challengers have shown up, as expected. Oh, the child you saw earlier? He's going through a tough upbringing, there's no doubt. But it's a tough world he's born into, make no mistake. <sighs> He'll grow out of his rebellious phase eventually. I mean, you could, like, help him get over it. What? Yo, oh, the rocket grunts selling things at a discount, maybe? I feel like they should give us a discount. The fact that they're stolen and we're a rocket grunt, too. Hey, they got the real healing items, though. None of that potion garbage, dude. Look at this. Energy roots. That's what we need right now. Let's actually grab a couple of these powders. A heal for 50. And... Ooh, heals all the status problems. I'll grab a couple of those, too. And now we're almost broke again. But actually, I think I have some more items to sell. Right? We got rare candies. Which, again, I feel like... Uh, I don't know. We could use them, but... Probably a better investment to just sell them off. And, yeah, we're back good on money again. What's up, Prince Pogger? They selling drugs. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, dude. They got those good powders and herbs. <laughs> oh, man. That powder do be looking pretty sketch in the Sprite, actually. Yo, a friend of mine just outside is planning to rob the Pokemon. If you think you're bad enough for it, come join us. What? Can we actually do that? And what is going on with this gym right now? Like, when Giovanni's not running it, he just got the Rocket Boys posted up in there. Oh, you can sell stolen Pokemon? Okay, I mean... I don't have any one that I want to sell right now, but we do have a bunch in the PC that we could. Interesting. Listen up, man. You come to the right place. I'm tired of seeing all these rockets cower in fear at Lance's new anti-crime measures. So, what are you going to do about it? You got guns or what? I'm setting up shop to reward the biggest and baddest rockets for keeping our name notorious. The higher the bounty, the greater the reward I'll give. Well, what's your name, Lemon? 66,000! Yo, our bounty went up so much already. What? You really don't give a fly and you know what, do ya? <laughs> I like you, bud. We need more tough guys like you around here. Take this. You've earned it, man. Really? A King's Rock? And a Quick Claw. And a sub from Key. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you and welcome to the Munchy Bunch. Appreciate the support. And now it's time to go help out Nurse Joy. Would have been good for Dill. Ah, oh, poor Dill, dude. I mean, technically we can get the uh, Johto Pokemon in this game, right? Because it's Fire Red. So maybe if we do find a Metal Co at some point. I don't know if they changed it in this game, so you just have to give it or use it on Scyther. Because obviously you can't trade in a ROM hack. So they'd have to have some way. Wait, Growlithe, you say? I'm getting tougher. What? Give me a Firestone, bro. Yeah, you're not quite bad enough, I'm thinking. Get yourself a bounty of at least 120k. Does this guy actually give stones? That's what I'm guessing, right? Because he's talking about... Yeah! So if we can get our bounty high enough, he will give us... Or maybe sell us... Fire and Water Stone. So now we know at least where to get it. But... Our bounty's not nearly high enough. Anyway, where is this guy that's cheating on uh, Nurse Joy? Is it you? I'm guessing he wouldn't be in the Pokemon Center, right? Maybe he's in like one of these uh, houses or maybe he's just... Oh wait, he was a guard. My, my, what have we here? A rocket bandit in the flesh. Oh, don't give me this good old speech, man. You know what I'm here for. What's that? Nurse Joy and Pewter. <laughs> oh my. Yes, isn't she the loveliest woman you've ever laid her eyes on? In fact, keep it low to my superiors, but if you've got the time, please bring her this bouquet of roses to express my... L Wait. Huh? You're gonna do what? Beat me up? But why in the world? I won't stand for this rocket in the name of the law. I'll defend myself. I knew we'd have to fight this guy. Not physically, but in a Pokemon battle, of course. And yep, he's got the Growlithe himself. I wish I had healed, first of all, but also Psyduck would be pretty nice 
to fight against this guy. I mean, we do have um, Deddy, so I think this Growlithe is in for a rude time right now. Does he really have three Growlithes? Oh, a Poliwhirl, what the heck? That's what the guy just said too. Growlithe, Poliwhirl, wait, am I a cop in disguise? I seem to have the cop Pokemon, the Growlithe at least. Ain't she the prettiest woman you've ever laid? <laughs> just laid. Not eyes upon, not anything else, just laid. That's it. You really just try to rain dance twice, bro? What is this cop thinking right now? I wonder if this uh, Poliwhirl might have an item on it. Since it seems to be using, nope, rain dance over and over. I thought maybe it could have that one item that extends the rain dance, but then again, I don't think that existed in this generation yet, so not very likely. Either way, it's dead now. And finally, we've got a Machamp! Of course, I should have read what Pokemon was coming because this is not a great matchup for Laffy Taffy. It is pretty good for Lil' Crit though. Why, why would you go Foresight? Come on, wake up! Lil' Crit, wake up! Please, wake up! Oh my god! And of course, he got Seismic Toss. That's annoying, but... We one-shot it, so we're okay. Fairy-type didn't exist either. That is true, and they have Fairy-type in this game. So I guess the Damp Rock might exist. Oh, wait, I forgot to read the story. Huh? She thinks I'm being unfaithful. Why, that's unfathomable. I could never want another woman. In fact, I stay far away from the slightest conversation with other young women so as not to give them false impression. I can't see how anything I've done could have made her think. Was it her mom? Or his mom? Or his sister? There you are, Teddy! Say, would you mind watching out for my jinx- He was babysitting a jinx. You gotta be kidding me. Bruh. <laughs> she had such fun with you last time, isn't that right, jinx? Oh my. So that's the blonde bimbo Nurse Joy was talking about. <laughs> of course, sir, anytime. That's a tall lady. Splendid, I'll just leave her with you then. <laughs> I cannot believe this. All right, where were we? Oh yes, as I was saying, there's no reason anybody should suspect I harbor interest in other women. <laughs> the way he stares at us and back at Jinx. You're not suggesting that she saw me with the old man's Jinx and thought... That's exactly what happened. Ridiculous! Oh no! My lover must be worried sick! Help us undo this terrible misunderstanding. Please go back and tell her that I never had eyes for anyone but Jinx. That's a little messed up, dude. Shouldn't do that with your Pokemon. But I feel like Nurse Joy is still going to think that, yeah. Wait, what if we go back and she tells us that he was... Uh... Playing Pokemon Ami with the Jinx. <laughs> Those ledges are real scary, man. Yeah, I don't know. Who would ever jump down those? It's pretty terrifying. But we're almost there to Pallet Town. We can continue the story and not the love story of a man and his jinx, because that's just weird, dude. Greetings. I've come out here to spread the word about our Lord and Savior, Arceus. Peace be upon him. Shall I lend you my healing powers? Yeah, sure. Splendid. So she heals us, but is she also going to give us a little fortune? Nope. Okay. I guess that's kind of like, since there's no Pokemon Center in Pallet Town, it makes sense. What in Arceus's name? What? Is everyone in Pallet Town, like, religious? A rocket in our innocent lab. What? No, goodness, no. Professor Oak isn't in. And I doubt very much he'd want anything to do with you if he were. So that's it? Can we, like, steal the last starter, maybe? Oh, I stop it right there. I may be a mere research aide, but I know better than to let you put your dirty fingers on the professor's rarest Pokemon. Get off, or I'll put all the aids on ya. The game can soft lock. Okay, let's just save state real quick, just in case. 
I don't know how it would soft lock, but I'm not risking it, dude. What's up, Pikachunium? Welcome, welcome. I'm afraid Professor Oak is not here, so what the frick is he? Please don't hurt me. Come, just tell me where he's at then. And I'll leave you guys alone. Seriously. Oh, no way. Is he at Red's house? Or wait, no. What? Agatha? Excuse me? Oh, my. Isn't this a surprise? In all my visits to Pallet over the years, I never thought I'd see a fellow like yourself in a peaceful place like... What? You mean me? You're here for Oak, aren't you? Oh, no. I have no intention of stopping you. We have much more in common than you think, Rocket. Oh, well, yeah. Isn't Agatha evil in the manga? It's not often we see a new face around these parts. Come in for a cup of tea if you're not too busy. Palette is such a wasteland for interesting tea conversation. Tea time with Agatha? Well, well. Your tea's excellent as always, Daisy. And the weather is so lovely. Oh, I do miss Palette sometimes. Daisy here is my granddaughter. We always knew it, man. Professor Oak and Agatha are definitely a thing. But, you know, on the side, he's with Ash's mom, so we know where he's at. In fact, her brother always on some quest. I'm part of the only resemblance of family she's got left. Well, me and Professor Oak, <laughs> when he bothers to show his face. A long time ago, we were a tight-knit couple, Oak and I. Sabiel was a man of honor back in those days. He valued strength, vigilance, and purpose, and he embodied it. But not anymore, right? Now he's a little savage, sleeping with Red's mom. How could he? He turned out a great man and blessed us with two grandchildren to carry our values forward. But no sooner than Blue, their youngest had been born. The war struck our family. Uh-oh. Daisy and Blue both survived unscathed, but our son and his wife both perished in the madness. Damn, dude. When the music go quiet, you know it's getting serious. Samuel and I, we swore that we would avenge them. We would bring down Lance and make him pay for taking away our innocent children. <laughs> would you believe it? He swore it to me. He gave me his word, Lemon. And then, why, just a little while later, he committed the most heinous, cowardly, shameful act I ever saw. He was champion, general of the army, the most powerful man in Kanto, and he gave it all up, all just to save his worthless skin. The soft, spineless fool that surrendered to Lance is not the man I loved. Damn, that's even worse than cheating on your wife, bro. He cheated on his country despicable. Even his sticking it out, fighting for something he believed in, would have ultimately meant his death. At least it would have been an honorable one. So Agatha wanted Oak to die for her. Okay, you know what? I take it back, dude. Oak, don't Romeo and Juliet it, dude. It's never worth it. I'm sorry, Daisy, for going there again. You know how I can get sometimes. A little crazy, maybe? I'd better get going, darling. What? That's it? Just okay? <laughs> How are you going to say such lovely grandkids after that? I can't say I approve of what you and your boss are doing around Kanto, but I can't say I don't sympathize with your frustration. Not quite respect, but understanding. Until we meet again. Damn. Daisy just sitting there taking it, man. Don't think Grandpa's really a bad person. He's really very cheerful and friendly. Sometimes a little too friendly, especially to that neighbor lady. But, you know, we had a good childhood. But, you know, there's just this one thing that always bothered me. Jeez, there you are, Lemon. What's the holdup? Oh, is it Ronnie? Oh, no. Roddy, no. It's not what it looks like, bro. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. Sorry to interrupt the friendly tea party and all, but yo, 
We got a Pokemon professor to interrogate, bro. Let's go hand it to that old man, Oak. You got me tired of waiting. Oh no! Is it true? You disgusting thug! Grandma was wrong to trust a rocket for company. I knew I should have never allowed it. Gee, Lemon, you sure fixed yourself a feisty date, huh? Oh, no time for that now. Gotta hit that lap pronto! In all my days, you're not going anywhere! I won't let any low-life thugs trespass on our home and family! What, we're fighting Daisy? I love this game, dude. Yo, she's looking fierce, too! Blue Sister Daisy, the last character I ever imagined we'd have to fight in Fire Red. This is actually really cool. So, I'm gonna go into Laffy Taffy immediately. Because she's like the only one that has anything super effective. Oh wow. Well, we have counter, I should clarify, which means that we have to get hit in order to even trigger it. But, considering Chansey's going for takedown, it means our counter is going to be doing nothing. What? Why is that not super effective? What the frick, dude? Because Chansey has no... At <sighs> that sucks. I forgot counter actually does damage based on how much damage they do to you. So... Uh, we're gonna be here for a while, apparently. I mean, we could have taken advantage of... What the frick? The stomp just one-shots it. Chansey might have the HP of a full-grown family, but it has no defenses. So yeah, that's uh, it for that. I'll go ahead and grab the slam then. Since I think that's better than stomp, at least in damage, but I think stomp can actually paralyze, so maybe it's overall better. Anyway, we got Ponyta up next. Really interesting that Daisy is a battle in this game. I mean, she is Blue's sister, and Blue being such focused on battling. And obviously, she's Oak's granddaughter, so she's got to have some interest in Pokemon. I was still not expecting to have to battle her, though. But as soon as Ronnie showed up, like, we knew it was going downhill. Alright, we got Need Arena. If you stomp after minimize, it does extra damage. Really? Like after you use minimize or after the enemy does minimize? So it makes sense if the enemy shrinks down to tiny and then you stomp on it, then yeah, it'd do more damage, but not if you minimize yourself. That'd be weird. I'm guessing if it's if the enemy minimizes, but her final Pokemon will be a Raichu, which is really cool. Because, like, Professor Oak's final secret starter is the Pikachu, of course. So maybe in uh, this game's canon, it went to Daisy. I like it. Or maybe that was, like, I don't know, from Radiant Forest or something. It's just cool to see a Raichu. And maybe we can even steal it, because now we can actually steal from women. So I'm guessing, yep, we can totally take that Raichu. And if anybody's got a nickname for it, Now's your chance, because I have no idea what I want to do. Oh, it's a female, too. How about we just do Rai? Since Raiden feels more male, but Rai could be gender neutral. Well done, Lemon. Quite the energy in this one, eh? Why am I reading her... Uh, le but I'm doing the wrong voice. What? What are you doing, Ronnie? No! What? Stop! What the frick? He just killed Daisy! Pokemon that strong on an assuming girl like that. She's got some rich family or other. I'll bet my kidney. Raticate, see if you can't find any valuables around here to loot. What the frick, dude? Okay, I'm guessing she's not dead because Hyper Fang always does half of your health. So there's actually no way it could ever kill you. What's the matter, Lemon? Why you look like you ain't ever seen a rocket in action? Heh, <laughs> you little sissy you. Shut up, dude. Come on, you didn't have to beat up the girl. We already beat her in a battle. What, you checked the lab and the old guy's not even there? Well, gee, talk about a big fat waste if I ever seen one. Well, it's a good thing we got in a bit of action just now then. 
It's not a good day without at least one robbery, am I right? <laughs> this guy. I want to beat him up, honestly. I can't wait for the final battle against Ronnie. Because I already know he's going to be the final boss of this game. Oh, yeah. Hyper Fang. Not Super Fang. Okay, so may maybe Daisy really is dead. Dude, technology, man, it's far out. Did you hear about the information superhighway? Pretty soon we're going to get to download and play all sorts of games straight from our minds. <laughs> what? I don't know if that would be good, though. I mean, it sounds interesting in theory, but like there's something cool about the physicality of video games, the skill expression. You know, if you just played with your mind, it's like, how would anyone be better than the other? Is it just whoever's smarter? I don't know. Definitely changes things. I don't know if I'm about it. Wait, who are you supposed to be? What? I don't like this very much at all. Please leave us alone. So Red's mom is not feeling it. How about we just take a little nap in Red's bed? Because I'm actually getting pretty hungry. So I think I might call it here. I know this was quite a short episode, but it's fine. 